you have a hundred alumni coming back. Who's organized this effort? Providing the opportunity for guys to come back and not just to come watch practice, but interact. Those guys teach us things when they come back. They teach us and we're there for them when they need us as well. We want our brothers to come back and, and be a part of this as much as possible. Obviously we're working through all the protocols and things like that, but how exciting is that? Through the protocol, the people that do get the hall pass is our brotherhood, the former alumni, and they've been, been able to come to practice. It's, it's inspiring for our current players and our current coaches. It is also very beneficial to always have a reminder of who we are, where we've come from, and what it's going to take. <laughs> Man, I want a hall pass. You know, between the players currently in the Bronco football program and the guys that once established the blue, blueprint, the buy-in surrounding the Andy Avalos era has been noticeable. Case in point, approximately 100 former Bronco players will gather on Saturday to celebrate and support what Avalos has affectionately deemed the brotherhood. Few alumni offer a better example than council native Matt Paradis. Once a walk-on defensive lineman, his attitude and ability to adapt has earned him an NFL career on the offensive line that is now approaching a decade long. You started on the defensive line, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you made the move. Now, I'm, I'm going yeah. back and I'm, and I'm thinking about some of the linemen on the defensive side that you're probably mixing it up with. And that would have been like Tyrone Crawford, Billy Wynn, Shea McClellan. Yeah. What was it like competing with those guys? And was, was that group so good at the time that you – did that have anything do, to do with you switching sides of the ball and finding playing time? Yeah, 100% it did. <laughs> It was a great room, man. Had a great time. I did not want to switch when uh, Chris Strasser and Coach Kukowski brought it to me, and I did not want to switch. I thought I could contribute on the on the D line, and you know maybe I could have, but I would have had a very low ceiling as compared to what I've been able to achieve um, as an offensive lineman. And it took them six months to wear me down, probably before I committed to the switch. But I still have great relationships with those D linemen, man. Like. Kyrie's the coach now. Like we came in together as D lineman. Ricky Chongachu, I'm hanging out with him. Billy Wynn, we signed him in Denver uh, when I was still there. And like it wasn't just we were college teammates, though. We were in the same position group, like for a while at least. So it's pretty cool. That's crazy. I mean, if that if that room wasn't so talented, I don't want to. I'm not selling your talent short dice, but like who who knows what would have happened with you? I owe my career to the the people who got me to switch the offensive line. So. They know who they are, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm very thankful for them. Matt, after all these years, why do you still come back to Idaho in the off season to train? <laughs> well, why wouldn't I, man? Look at all Idaho has to offer. I train at uh, off the field there in Meridian. It's a great gym, and Taylor Bateman's the guy there. Great trainer. Love it here. I love the everything Idaho has to offer, man. I'm Idaho through and through, and. Um, we don't have any pro teams here, so I have to go somewhere else to play. It's really how you should term that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that reluctant move by Matt from the defensive to the offensive line, it's probably worth about $30 million in career earnings. I'm not going to lie. Pretty cool. We're going to have plenty more with Matt coming up tomorrow on J Sports Bar, available on iTunes and YouTube. Just a reminder, the spring game is Saturday at 3.30. Boise State is anticipating up to 6,300 total fans, easily the most that will watch the Broncos live since 2019. Tickets are $5, and I'm told that limited quantities still remain. For more information, visit broncosports.com.